Hey, welcome to the Mid-Ohio Rock Show, everybody. I'm Tommy Barnes. Real thrilled to have you hanging out with us. Uh, nice to have some shorts on for a change. Finally, decent weather here in the Midwest, and uh, hopefully summer will get here pretty quick, and we'll get to enjoy some great outdoor festivals and cool stuff like that. Got a couple of good friends with me here. We're at City News in downtown Mansfield filming this evening, and as you are seeing with these episodes we're going to put out over the next uh, few weeks or so, we've got a bunch of great people we're going to hang out with, and this guy here, I've known Jimmy for, I don't know, 20, 25 years or so. Last time you and I chatted, uh, I believe I was just getting out of Leavenworth after that white lightning run, the moonshine <laughs> thing, yeah. catching, you know, like a cinder block building down in Lexington. <laughs> but, uh, hey, for, yeah, thanks for hey, coming to visit me and hey, bailing my no ass problem. out. I <laughs> appreciate that. I got your back. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it's really cool to have you hanging out with us tonight and uh, kind of enjoy hearing you play. Uh, you know, there was... About two years ago, Jimmy, I was down in uh, the Columbus area. I love going to different blues shows. Of course, obviously, you do too. Oh, I saw you and this guy next to me here doing a duo together. And just Julie and I, my wife, sat there for like an hour and a half, watched a couple sets you guys did. And it, it was really, really cool. Cool, thanks. Uh, give us a quick intro. Steve Claver, bass guitar. I uh, play guitar and sing. Right. And, uh, we play old blues, uh, new blues, our blues. Yeah. Works really good. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. All right, that's the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as I mentioned, you know, it's really cool getting a chance uh, to just play with a lot of different people. And this guy, obviously, has got a great pedigree. Well, Tell me about yourself, because we've just met here in the last uh, couple months or so. <laughs> Start yesterday and then go to today. Go to today. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Jimmy and I have known each other really a long time. Our, our bands banged into each other quite a bit. Played a lot of the same places, different shows. Uh, his band and the band I was in and still know these guys well called Stick People. Oh, well, absolutely. Kind of blues rock type of band. Mm, very familiar with that. Time. And we, we did a lot of stuff together and we, we jammed a lot at different places, you know, and we always had a good time and, and uh, hit, you know, just hit it off musically, you could tell just like that. Yeah. Um, so whenever a chance arose that, you know, we could do something together, we did. And uh, that led to, you know, spot Jimmy's band, the full band. You know, he needed to replace a bass player. You know, and asked me if I'd do do that. And said, sure. So there we are. The the duo thing is really cool. Um, the the electric band is you know much more high powered. Exactly. Modern blues, blues rock, and uh, it's like you know go get it now. The 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 duo is. Kind of, a, we call them a semi-acoustic blues duo. Uh, we'll use acoustic guitars. We use electric sometimes. Uh, I've got a little short-scale fretless bass that sort of a chamber thing, but you, you know, you plug it in, but it's a little different sound. Mm, just a small thing. version of a stand. I've got it. Yeah, and I've got like a little Sound's ukulele bass uh, that I use, and who knows what else comes in at different shows, but that's. Kind of the deal with that. We both had like a love for uh, uh, country style blues, Delta stuff, and uh, you know we, we we do a good bit of that, but it's also you know filtered to us. Well, one of the things I think with that combination you just mentioned, it gives you an opportunity to go this way, that way, that way with the same song, yeah, different every single yeah. time, yeah, right? Exactly. I mean, you yeah. and I have talked about the fact how. You'll play a song and it was never the way you played it the day before or the hour before. So I, I kind of get that vibe listening to Steve that that's how you guys yeah, feed off of each other. We love going on jerk. Just like children sleeping 
Steve, I, one thing that I've noticed, and I've, I've been fortunate to be in radio in Mansell here for a quarter century now, a little over that, knowing all these great bands, Stick People Forever. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> was that an old reference? <laughs> but you know, one of the things I noticed probably six, seven years ago was the duo thing. It was getting a little harder for guys to, to book the whole band and to make enough money, and all of a sudden you get one or two guys start thinking, well, you know, why bring the whole thing on board when you bring a couple of guitars and split that money a little better that way. Is that a trend yeah. you've seen maybe? Oh, definitely. I there, there was a lot of, uh, I know so many guys that uh, I used to get a call from to fill in, you know, for them from, especially in this part of Ohio, northern, northeastern Ohio. Right, right. A lot of guys that worked within Cleveland, the Akron area, you know, uh, I'd run into them and go, gee, I haven't heard from you for a while, you know, and here their band is now a single and a rhythm box or a duo because they just can't get the money. Well, However, well, let me let me just say all of that stuff's true, but we didn't really do that just to cut the other guys out. No, that's because they have nobody, no other friends. <laughs> we uh, we actually did it. Uh, it was a fun thing, and, and we hadn't really thought about booking it. Right. But the response to it was sort of snowballed that way, and so we kind of you know not like there. You know, you know how to try that. Yeah, well, you know, I saw you guys. Uh, get calls like constantly. Well, you know, it fits a lot of venues. Yeah, it fits. It, a, it fits a lot of spaces, and that's one of the really cool things about it. I mean, crap, you could play here at City News or the Library and get the same mm -hmm. same yeah, thing. True. You guys played uh, Creekside Blues Fest down in Gahanna a couple years ago. Is when I first saw you on one of the side stages and just playing, and I just remember. The looks on your faces, and like I said, my wife and I sat there an hour or so, just just enjoying the heck. We out just of love it. it. I mean, that's you know, so it's it's great when you have people out there. But between us, it's just 
we have such a thing going, you know, that it's really, it's a lot of fun. So, you know. Yeah. You guys about ready to get in and have some more fun here playing? Oh, hell yeah. All right, it's a guitar in tune. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> One of these, <laughs> then it will be. I guess I say that on, on the night that The Who is playing Columbus, yeah, yeah. so we might as well smash well. the guitar, but not wreck Susie's floor. Hey, once again, thanks to Susie Soprano for allowing thanks, us Susie. to film here for at the uh, Mid-Ohio Rock Show, uh, downtown Mansfield. Hope you get a chance to come on down here. Enjoy some of the great amenities in downtown Mansfield. There's a lot of cool joints and things going on. I'm Tommy. He's Steve. That's Jimmy with one M and one I. Don't mess it up. He's got people we'll deal with you. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.